as Andrew Duran has reeled him in. Makes a bit down low. Fern shakes him off. Little bit of contact there in turn number two with Duran peeking to the inside of Tom Fern, who's trying to control that inside lane. Duran opens the door on the bottom. Side by side for the lead, coming to halfway. 15 laps down, 15 to go, and Fern hangs on to the race lead for now. Fern continues to try to guard the number one position. Andrew Duran had it to the inside for a while. Forced to back out of it. Maybe he's going to change his strategy. Chris Meyer is there. Duran taps on the back bumper of Fern. Back to the strike. And as they race hot and heavy for the race lead, it's allowing Meyer to close in. It's allowing Saunders to close in. Corey and Gambacorda, top six, snapping back together. You can move Gambacorda up to the fifth spot as Buffoni slid back out of the top five. Race for the lead again. Duran to the inside, Fern to the outside. At the line, new leader by a half a car length. Andrew Duran goes to the front. Daryl Keene. Trouble now. And look at the move that Chris Meyer pulled off. Outside lane slipped off turn two. Keene and Fern. Oh. Here comes Gamba. Corda three wide for the top spot. Is there enough room for all of them off the corner? The answer is yes. And it's going to be Meyer back to the corner. Keene. Gamba. Corda gets into Fern in turn one. Fern will spin. And her night goes from good to bad, just like that, and a battle for the lead in three, caution. but draws the caution. Caution flag comes out, and it's still stern. But Verrecchio, right there, gets a fender down under. Can't do it. Let's see what's gonna happen in three. Stern tries to hold on, here comes Verrecchio. White flag is out off turn number four. One lap to go. Nearly contact between the race leaders back into turn number one. Stark in the outside lane. Verrecchio to the bottom. Here comes Kevin Gamba, quarter from third up the back. Straight away for the final time. The only lap that counts is the final lap. Corey's car slips up the racetrack. Here comes Adam Gray. Gray 
in a three-wide bid for the lead, sinks it in at a ton. Adam Gray moves down to the wing, Corey Jr. Off the turn, white flag is out, final circuit. One lap to go, Adam Gray to the inside, Wayne Corey Jr. outside, contact is made. Corey slides up the racetrack. Gray to the bottom with the run under the back, straight away for the final time. Deep into turn number three. Gray digs hard in the bottom. Corey shuffles on the outside. They cling and they clang off the turn. Another exciting finish in the late models. Adam Gray will take down the victory. Moved into second. He is now hunting down Adam Gray. And all of a sudden, Bobby Stern. And look out, here it comes. Myers again, going for the gusto. Off the turn, side by side to the strike. Chris Meyer bustling his way to the bottom. Adam Gray not giving an inch. They come together, and here comes Tom Butler to the inside. Three wide scramble for the lead. Butler from third to first, maybe in turn number three. Meyer is right there alongside. Adam Gray to the bottom. Three wide, white flag, one lap to go. Adam Gray, dove from the outside to the inside. Incredible competition. Off the turn, Gray is back in command. Meanwhile, Butler is back up in second. Myers gets bounced around. Here comes Stern. Here they come. Double checkers are in the air. Adam Gray has done it again here at Stafford. Here comes Alexander Fern. She's going to try to follow Duran through. Muscling her way to the bottom. Alex Fern, car 12 on Wayne Corey. Car number 10 slides up the racetrack, does Corey. Fern backs out of it just a bit. They both lose momentum. Here comes Ferrecchio. Thinks of making it three wide in turn number three. Literally, Alexander Fern trying to hold on. She's the meat in the sandwich. Here as they come off the turn, Ferrecchio moves into the third spot. Up the hill goes the 10, loses about five positions. And guess who's coming to the front? The champ, 